Our next question comes from Andy, and Andy asks a question that is going to become an issue over the next year or two, and I think a lot of people are not going to like this one. Is 8 gigabytes of VRAM enough these days? Also, is it enough to play on a 2K display? Buy Windows 10 Professional for $15, activate instantly online with Microsoft, and keep it forever. Don't pay full price. Get the best deal from our sponsor, URCD Keys, using our link in the video description below. Full details on how this amazing deal works at the end of the video. Now, first of all, 2K displays. These are 1440p monitors. It's a weird numbering thing because they never standardize 2K displays as being 1440p, but that's generally what most people mean when they say 2K displays, as opposed to just saying 1440p. It is what it is. I didn't design the system. So we're going to go with 1440p. Is eight gigabytes of VRAM enough today? Yes. Mostly. There are games right now, Last of Us Part 1, that will use over eight gigabytes of VRAM at 1440p with the details cranked up. But it does depend upon your video card. Let's flash back eight years. In 2015, AMD released the Radeon R9 390X with eight gigabytes of VRAM. It was a refreshed Hawaii XT card, the R9 290X. The 290X typically came with four gigs of VRAM. There were eight gig versions, but they were not standard or common. But when the 390X was released in 2015, it was standardized at eight gigabytes of VRAM. One year later, NVIDIA launched the 10 series of cards and the GTX 1070, 1080, both came with eight gigabytes of VRAM. Let's be honest, the GTX 1070, which launched technically at 379, but it was really 450 when it launched because of reasons, for about $400 in 2016, that has been a long lived card that has done very, very well. That eight gigs of VRAM definitely helps, but it was just a really good card for its day. Interestingly enough, the R9 390X was also a very good card and it's still a very usable card today, but for whatever reason, AMD just, AMD just, it's like the Rodney Dangerfield of graphics cards. It just doesn't get any respect. But a 390X is actually still a really good card today. And then of course we had the RX 480, 580, and then we had the Vega cards, the Vega 56, 64, and many, many, many other eight gigabyte cards ever since. The RTX 3070 and 3070 Ti have eight gigabytes of VRAM. The RX 6600 and 6600 XT have eight gigs of VRAM. And the upcoming RTX 4060 will have eight gigs of VRAM, even though the 3060 had 12. Yeah, at least the 4070 is going to have 12. That's a separate conversation. A $600 video card in 2023 with 12 gigs of VRAM. Well, yeah. So eight gigs of VRAM, is it enough? Yes, but you're gonna start compromising or you're gonna start running into issues. It's really aged at this point. Okay, serious question. Raise your hand. Did you know that the first general wide availability consumer graphics card under 500 bucks that had eight gigabytes of VRAM launched eight years ago. Raise your hand. Okay, the two of you in the back can put your hand down. No, you for Okay, many of you actually probably owned a 390X and so you may very well know this because you bought one back in 2015. Totally fair point, absolutely fair. But I bet a lot of people either forgot or don't realize that eight years have passed. And it's sort of like, well, but eight gigs is enough. We've I've had eight gigs for years, why would I need more? Well, 256 megabytes of VRAM used to be enough. I mean, we have 16, 32, and 64 gigs of RAM in our computers now. I remember when 16 megabytes, 32 megabytes, and 64 megabytes of system RAM, 1,000 times less than we have now, was the standard. And it wasn't that long ago, and yes, I was an adult at that time. I'm old, don't, don't, don't at me. So, Eight gigabytes of VRAM is at the end of its days. Now it'll last for a while longer at 1080p and it'll last for a while longer if you turn the texture detail down. If you had a GTX 1070, RTX 2070, RTX 3070, and you wanna keep those for the next five years, yes, you can, but compromises will start to get introduced. You'll have to lower the render resolution. You'll have to lower the texture detail. Maybe you'll be able to put a game at 1080p high detail, but you have to turn textures to medium because now high detail wants to go over eight gigabytes of VRAM. 
even at 1080p. Now we're talking like two years from now, I think 2025, but it's going to happen. 16 gigabyte cards are going to become the standard, which is why I'm not really thrilled about the 12 gigabyte cards because 12 gigs feels like a very tiny baby step. You go in large increments. We went from one to two to four to eight. 16 is the next number. 32 is the next number after that, which makes the 24 gigs on a 3090 and 4090 kind of odd. But honestly, 24 gigs of VRAM will last for the life of those cards. By the time that's not enough, those cards really won't be fast enough to use the VRAM anyway, so it's not going to matter. So that's one benefit of buying those. And in fact, right now, as we're talking, you can buy a used RTX 3090 for about the price of a 4070 Ti, and they're about the same performance on eBay, about $750 to $800, and it has 24 gigs of VRAM. The nice thing about 24 gigs of VRAM is you don't have to care about VRAM. For the life of that card, a 3090 is never going to run out of VRAM because when it runs out of VRAM, you will have run out of performance. By the time you have a game that legitimately can take a use of more than 24 gigs of VRAM, that card, what, are you gonna run at five frames per second? It just won't be fast enough. I do think eight gigs is pretty limited these days. And I think the fact that the new 49, uh, excuse me, RTX 4060 coming out with eight gigs is a problem. The 1060 came out with six gigs back in 2016. That was seven years ago. And now we've only gone up by 25% six years later. Seven years later. Wow, has been a while. The 4060 should have 12 gigs of VRAM. The 4070 should have 16 gigs of VRAM. The 4080 should have 24 gigs of VRAM. And the 4090 probably should have 32 gigs of VRAM, but that's a separate conversation. Having said all of this, I recommend, and I continue to recommend the RX 6600 as a phenomenal value for the money. For just over $200, you can buy a brand new, current generation card. I know the 7000 series is out, but they don't have a low-end equivalent at the moment. When those come out, we'll talk about it. You can, for $200, buy a current generation, very nice video card that has solid performance, that will play any game at 1080p at reasonable detail settings, high or ultra. URCD Keys is the best source for genuine Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys that work the first time, every time. Get 20% off normal prices using our discount code BST for Bite Size Tech and the link in the video description below. $15 gets you a Windows 10 Professional OEM key that is a real product key, activates directly with Microsoft, use it forever as it links to your Microsoft account and it works through reinstalls. Get a full copy of Office 2019 Professional Plus for about $50 that redeems at setup.office.com using your Microsoft account. It also works forever through reinstalls. We have been using URCD keys for almost three years now and recommend you do so as well. And while the eight gigs is limiting, anybody buying a $200 video card probably is prepared to accept the fact that there will be some limitations at some point in the future. $500 video cards, I expect far fewer limitations, but for a $200 video card, that texture detail will come down a bit. But eight gigs of VRAM for mainstream mid-level 1440p gaming is, on, is, is in my opinion on the way out.